Frank Abendando. Frank Abendando, July 11, 1910, February 19, 1942, nicknamed the Dasher, was a New York City contract killer who committed many murders as part of the infamous murder, Inc. Gang. His preferred killing method was to stab his victims through the heart with an ice pick. After a trial and conviction for murdering a Brooklyn loan shark, he was executed in the electric chair at Sing Sing on February 19, 1942. Early Years Abandando's parents, Lorenzo Abandandalo and Rosaria Famichetti, emigrated from Avellino, Italy, to New York City. He was born in New York on July 11, 1910. Abandando was one of twelve children, of which seven did not survive childhood. His brothers and sisters were Philomena, December 10, 1907, December 6, 1970, Rocco, December 22, 1910, October 19, 1912, Anna, June 25, 1912, October 13, 1984, Carolina, 1914, September 16, 1915, Teresa, October Criminal career Abandando began as a teenager extorting money from shop owners by threatening to torch their shops. By his twenties, he had joined a street gang in the Ocean Hill section of Brooklyn where he quickly became a lieutenant of Harry Happy Mayum. Abandando organized gambling, loan sharking, and extortion rackets for the gang, as well as committing murders. In 1928, Abandando was convicted of beating a New York police officer and was sent to reform school in Elmira, New York, where he demonstrated skill at baseball and received the nickname the Dasher. While Abandando was said to be a connoisseur of fine clothes and fancy cars, he was also a habitual sexual predator who would drive around his neighborhoods of Brownsville and Ocean Hill looking for young women to rape. The prosecutor at his murder trial, said that Abandando had all but admitted one rape, to which Abandando replied, well, that one doesn't count really, I married the girl later. Contract Killer In the early 1930s, New York's five families began using gangs to commit their murders. This was because they had reformed their operating structures following the vicious, vicious high-profile Castellamares, war which had made front-page news for its brutality. With the new peace, the mobs now wanted to keep a low public profile. By using contract killers, the five families were better protected from public and law enforcement scrutiny. These killers were led by Louis Lepp Butchalter. With the growth in racketeering, Butchalter's small informal network of killers grew into a group of 250 criminals who were also involved in narcotics, labor unions, and other rackets such as gambling and prostitution. Butchalter called his group the combination, but the New York press labeled it Murder, Inc. Unlike the five families, which required members to be of Sicilian or Southern Italian ancestry, Murder, Inc. Abandando had become associated with Murder, Inc. in the 1920s. By the early 30s, he was reputed to have killed at least 30 people, mostly in Brooklyn, for a payment of about $500 per murder. In September 1931, Abandando helped Butchalter and gang member Abriles eliminate the Shapiro brothers, a rival outfit from the Lower East Side of Manhattan who controlled the garment industry in Brooklyn. In 1937, Abandando assisted in the murder of George the Rudnick. Riles had ordered Rudnick's murder because he had received information that Rudnick was a police informant. Using an ice pick and a meat cleaver, Abandando and several other gang members strangled Rudnick, stabbed him 63 times, and crushed his head inside a garage. No one was arrested for the crime. In February 1939, Abandando and others killed mobster Felis Esposito. The contract was issued because he had been a prosecution witness in a mob murder trial 17 years earlier. Trial and Execution by the 1940s, murder, Inc., would be severely weakened after the arrests and convictions of its leaders, like Butchalter and Jacob Shapiro, and top hitmen such as Charles the Bug Workman and Emmanuel Mendywais. Its downfall began in 1940 
when Abe Relez had turned state witness after being indicted for murder. His Testimonies Against Fellow Murder, Inc. In May 1940, Abandando was put on trial for murder along with co-defendants Harry Happy Mayone and Harry Pittsburgh Phil Strauss. Abandando was so confident that his allies would succeed in fixing the verdict, he even whispered a threat into the judge's ear while he was on the witness stand. However, to his surprise, they were all convicted of Rudnick's murder, but the verdicts were overturned on appeal. In April 1941, Abandando, along with Mayon Strauss, had been subsequently convicted in September 1940 of killing Jewish mobster Irving Feinstein in 1939, went on trial a second time. This time he was convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to death. Abandando spent the next nine months in Sing Sing Prison in Assigning, New York. On February 19, 1942, he was executed using Old Sparky, the electric chair at Sing Sing. In the moments up to his execution, Abandando continued to mock and curse his It was reported he displayed no fear and seemed to find a morbid humor in the proceedings. A mass was said for him at Our Lady of Loreto Church in New York, where his brother Rocco assaulted a news photographer. He was buried in the family plot in St. John's Cemetery in Queens, New York City. Aftermath After Abandando's conviction, six other members of Murder, Inc., including Butchalter and Mayone, were also convicted of murder and executed based on Relais' testimony. On November 12, 1941, while under police protection, Relais fell out a hotel window in Kenai Island. The official ruling was that Relais died trying to climb down bedsheets to the street below, however, it was rumored that the Cosa Nostra raised $100,000 to bribe Relais's guards to shove him out the window. With Butchalter's death, Albert Lord High Executioner Anastasia, a made man in the Cosa Nostra, took over Murder, Inc. As a reaction to government informants in Murder, Inc., the New York crime families started using their own members and associates, who were more easily controlled, to carry out murders. Murder, Inc. soon faded away. Personal Life Abandando married Jenny DeLuca, a hairdresser, from Ocean Hill at his parents' urging in September of 1927. He had two sons. Both became involved in organized crime. Lawrence was born shortly after his parents' marriage on December 20, 1927. He became a mob associate who died of cancer in North Miami Beach, Florida, on March 25, 1995. His younger brother, Frank Abandando Jr., who was born on October 17, 1935, was a Gambino crime family associate who was murdered in Florida on December 22, 1995. The 60-year-old mobster was run over as he crossed Biscayne Boulevard in North Miami Beach by Rocco Napolitano, the brother of Aniello Napolitano, a small-time drug dealer who might have been executed on the orders of Avendando Jr. After running him down, Napolitano fired several shots into Avendando as he lay on the ground. Napolitano told police that he had shot him out of revenge for his brother. He was sentenced to life in prison. Abandando Jr. was buried in Ocean Hill, Brooklyn. Cited Works Flowers R. Barry Flowers, H. Lorraine, 2005 Male Murderers Murders in the United States Crimes, Killers, and Victims of the 20th Century McFarland ISBN 0-7864-2075-1 Nash, J. Robert, 1993, World Encyclopedia of Organized Crime, Falcapo Press, ISBN 0-306-80535-9, Nash, J. Robert, 2003, Murder, Inc., The Story of the Syndicate, Falcapo Press, ISBN 0-306-81000, 288 minutes 6.